random sample of 81 samples of this population. So our mean is 73 and we've got a standard deviation of nine. So beyond just everything else here, I'm gonna show you how all these answers were found. So the first one, the distribution is approximately normal if we have the mean of X here. So the mean, again, 73. Uh, how we found the standard deviation of one, this is the population standard deviation. And what that is, is in this instance, it's gonna be, um, I think that's iota, divided by the square root of the sample size. So in this instance, it's going to be nine divided by the square root of 81, which is gonna, square root of 81 is nine. So it's nine divided by nine, which gives us one. And that's how that was obtained. So that's important because our next B, C, and D are gonna require that. So we wanna know the probability based off this population that, um, what was it gonna be? I'm guessing this is age or something. These are just unmarked variables or values. So the chance that our sample is greater than 74.75. So what that's gonna be here for part B is it's going to be our sample 74.75 minus 73 all over one. I need to write better, sorry. And what this ends up being is 74.75 minus 73 is 1.75. So our Z score of 1.75. You can use a Z table chart or you can go to the Wolfram Alpha or some other calculator. Z score of 1.75 and we want greater than, so it's gonna be the right side. So greater than 1.75, So round this to four decimals. The six rounds up to one over here. So 0 0.0401 and that's how we got the result there B. Same principle for C. So for C, what we're gonna do is it's going to be um, 71 minus 73 all over one, but we want the left tail, the left hand, so it's going to be equal to negative two. So everything left 71, yeah. So in this sense, I can just go back. Oh. Uh, Z-score negative two. So 0 0.02275, round the five up, the seven becomes an eight. And that's how we end up with what we have for part C. So the next part, same principle, but, well, I have seen calculators online that solve this, but what we're gonna have to do here is find two Z scores and subtract one from the other. So basically what we're doing here, we're finding this between there. So like 74 will be like here and it'll be everything left here. And then we'll have 71, it'll be out here. So then we basically just subtract what's left of 71.8 from the 74.7. And what happens here, still at part D. So 74.7, um, minus 73 divided by one is 1.7. So Z score of 1.7, <laughs> excuse my spelling, uh, Z score of 71.8. So it's going to be negative 1.2. All right. So Z score 7.2, 1.7. So point nine five five four point nine five five four minus and then I'm gonna find the Z score at negative one point two. So left of that point one one five one and my result I get well one one five one oops is eight four zero three which is what we had up here for d so anyway that's how you do that i hope that helped you out thanks for watching and you have a great day